Hey, Lauren. Is it just going to be me? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Uh, well, let's see. So Jessica said that she couldn't make it. She's got church tonight. Um, Jody, she didn't email me one way or the other. Uh, Ashley, she Ashley is done because that her her last meeting was uh, in November or December, I yep. guess. But we didn't yep. have anything for that. And then who else am I forgetting? Oh, Lisa. Lisa has Lisa. I think she said that she, she said that she was coming in the meeting, or she accepted. She accepted the meeting time. So. Hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. <laughs> So if we don't have enough people yeah, uh, to do a forum. <laughs> then what I'll probably do is I'll probably just pass on the action items, which is just the uh, order of the agenda and the approval of minutes anyways. And then I would probably just shoot, go straight to discussion items anyways, since that doesn't really require a quorum. But That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Well, we'll get started here, and then if anybody uh, joins us, um, they can just hop in. So I'll, I'll skip the order of the agenda and the approval minutes. Um, so first up, uh, just an update on the selection of the new Public Art Advisory Committee members. Um, so Jody uh, and Ashley's terms were both up at the end of this past year. Um, Jody put in an application to be back on the committee again for another term. Uh, Ashley, she had some um, time commitment issues, uh, just some prior engagements and stuff. Um, so this time wouldn't work for her. And so she wasn't gonna apply again. Um, but in total, we got four applications um, for folks on to be on the committee, including uh, Jody's. Um, I met with a small group of West Fargo staff members about a week or two ago um, to go through the applications. We forwarded our recommendations on to the uh, mayor. Uh, and then the mayor right now, he is going to be communicating back and forth with Aaron, who's my supervisor in the planning and in zoning department um, to, and basically since this is like the first time we've ever sort of done like this appointment prior to you know before it was just the appointment of individuals to a new new committee now it's kind of an appointment of individuals to a pre-existing committee we're just seeing what if the mayor wants to be more involved or less involved if he wants to be less involved then he can just take the recommendations that staff provided if he wants to be more involved we've sent him the application so he can decide on that so I'm hoping um, that we'll have a firm answer on the two members by our next meeting. Um, and that will be sort of their first meeting. Jody, hi, how's it going? Good. I, I was just saying, um, as far as uh, whether or not you'll be on this committee again this year uh, for, for this next coming up year, uh, I forwarded staff's recommendations on to uh, Bernie, the mayor, uh, couple of days ago, but I haven't heard anything back from him. Just trying to gauge whether or not he wants to be more involved or less involved. So I sent him the four applications that we got. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to contact you and some of the other applicants within the next week uh, okay. is kind of what I'm assuming. Um, so that's just kind of where we're at on that. Um, for the utility box wrapping project. Um, so I went the, the you guys directed me to go to the Economic Development Advisory Committee um, to ask for $8,000 from them at their December meeting. So I went to their December meeting. Uh, they unanimously recommended um, that the city commission give us the $8,000 for the utility box stuff. Um, and then I went to city commission um, this last week. That This past week was their first meeting of kind of the new year. Um, and they formally approved the use of that $8,000. Um, so we got $8,000, so that's awesome. Um, I, Me and some other folks at the city, we've gone around and started fundraising as well um, for some funding. So basically how we're gonna do it is kind of similar to Colorfest. So the city kind of 
puts up $8,000 as backing. And then I go out, try to get donations, try to get grants. Uh, and then those grants and donations are used first to pay for the project. And then any money that the city doesn't use goes back to the city then. Um, and so, so far we've already raised a thousand dollars from private donations. We got $500 from Cargill and $500 from Onstead Twitchell um, for utility boxes. I'll be accepting um, donations until the beginning of March, um, at which time, hopefully, uh, we'll hear back on a couple of grants that I've applied for. Um, I just submitted an application for a North Dakota Council for the Arts grant for $1,250. Um, that's a one to one match that the city would have to match if we received that. Uh, and then I just got an email today saying that applications are open for the North Dakota Department of Commerce's Main Street Vibrancy Grant, which is the grant that we applied for and received last year uh, for ColorFest. So I'm going to reapply for that grant again this year for this project. And that's a $1,500 um, one-to-one -one match as well. So I'm thinking that we'll have enough money no matter what as when it comes to the, the utility box wrapping. Um, as far as art selection goes, um, and I'll probably discuss this next month when we have a fuller committee uh, attendance, um, but me and Lisa, uh, we were going to work in December to put together sort of like a doodle poll to get everybody's thoughts on what your top three options are from that curated list that the arts partnership has. Uh, we didn't get around to that just because things have been uber busy. Um, so I'm hoping to get that to that um, tour, probably within the next week or so. And then I'm hoping to get a that doodle pull out to you folks by the beginning of February. That way, by the time that uh, donations close on the project at the beginning of March, we'll also have our art selection process um, done as well. So we can do that public polling and I can talk to our communications department to put that poll up so West Fargo residents can vote on what art designs they like the best. Um, but right now the target, uh, I've been in contact with the, both the Arts Partnership, um, uh, the uh, Downtown Business Improvement District for Fargo. They're the ones that go around and actually install the art. And then uh, Office Sign Co, they're the ones that print the art. Um, and basically the deadline that I've given them is that we'll have all of this art up by the first cruise night of the year, which is going to be June 17th. So everything is on track so far. I'm happy to report. Great, great work, Malachi. Um, I'm really, really excited for all of this. And thank you for all your hard work with it. I know there's lots of moving parts. Um, my question was, did we ever hear anything back from Eddie, Sheely, and Choi? No, we did not. Um, so Morgan Kastner, um, she was our economic development specialist with the city. Um, unfortunately, both Morgan and then also Lauren, who you folks might remember from ColorFest, both of them left for other opportunities um, at the city within the last two months. So we don't currently have an economic development department. So I'm filling in for the <laughs> economic development, development department. Our code enforcement officer just left last week too. So I'm gonna be filling in for code enforcement too. So doing a lot of different things. But um, before she left, Morgan sent out an email to a bunch of businesses that had donated money to us um, prior to for ColorFest. One of those was Choice Bank. Uh, I followed up with Choice Bank probably before Christmas time. And Eddie was going to forward that information on to their donation committee. Um, I have not heard anything back from them. But now that I have approval uh, from the city commission um, to go move forward with the project, I'll be reaching out and kind of doing a little bit more soliciting of donations. So I'll be I'll be talking to Eddie probably again sometime next week, I would imagine. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but that is sort of the only updates that I have. Oh, I guess my only other update is uh, I will be gone the month of March from probably March 30th to, well, actually I'll, I'll be gone from, yeah, March 30th to March, April, May to the end of April, about a month. I'll be gone about four weeks for paternity leave because um, me and my wife are expecting our first baby. So 
and she's due March 30th. So looking forward to that. Congratulations. Thanks. So um, I'm not sure if we'll have a, I, right now I'm tentatively planning that we'll still have a meeting for March, um, but depending on if baby decides to come early, I might have to shoot a cancellation for that. But that is um, all the information I have. So our, uh, for West Fargo Parks, our activity guide um, information is for spring, summer is due in like the next couple weeks. Um, so are there any, so I know we did Color Fest last year. I know that you don't have an economic development part, uh, department. You're wearing like 30 hats right now, but do you foresee any upcoming things similar to that? Or um, also would we still want to add that, um, our committee would be a part of the art night event, like you were a part of last year when you got paint on your pants. <laughs> so both we, questions. Yep. So the city city doesn't have any um, any planned events uh, as far as art stuff goes for the summertime. Um, I'll leave it up to the rest of the committee to talk to decide whether or not they want to do the art night stuff. But if if you guys do want to do it, or if you even if we don't want to do it, but you still need volunteers, I will totally volunteer again this next year. Um, what is everyone's thoughts on that? Uh, just a, do you kind of want an overview of it? Do, does anyone remember what it is? An overview would be nice. Okay, so um, this will be, I think, the fifth or sixth year that we've done it. So it's usually in July for park and rec month. Um, and we have it in the park, we have live music. We usually have like Blackbird Woodfire come out and do um, pizzas. And it's just a really um, nice family and a friendly event in the park. There's lawn games, but the number one thing that's featured is free art projects. So we do three free art projects. Um, we make sure that there's something that's like tangible, not paper. Um, so they did like mini canvases this year. They, in the past, they've done like little drawstring bags. Um, and then we also have um, the art partnership come out, or not the art partnership, sorry, the Plains Art Museum comes out and does um, some clay throwing. We've had the Rourke come out and do um, some, like some print, print making. So it's just a nice celebration of, I guess, being creative and kind of the nice thing is that it features something besides sports for a park district. So it's one of our only events that's art based. Um, and last year we did it, Malachi came out and was in charge of salad spinning um, little mini canvases with acrylic paint everywhere. Um, and so last year we ended up putting in the description that our committee would help assist with it. Um, I am more than happy still just putting that in there and then we can kind of see closer to who's available. I just wanted to see if you guys were still good with that. I like the idea of that. I think that it's important to get the arts in there just as much as um, different activities, I suppose. Um, can we add that to the agenda for our next meeting to talk about with more people here? Yeah, I'll make a note here. Yeah, I unfortunately will have to have it in the book before then. So before I'm then, gonna, yeah, I would, so I will advise you that that is a good idea. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then so we can talk more about it. Well, and I mean, even like Malachi was our one member that showed up last summer. So technically the description did not, for, I mean, it was, it wasn't a lie. So we still had someone there. So um, even if there's any sort of involvement from our committee, whether it be person or someone helps me like find a, an artist to do um, a project, whatever it is, um, I just would like to get the name in the description. So people are like, oh, West Fargo has one of those. So as long as you guys are good with that, I would like to move forward. I also want to point out that I got a sweet t-shirt that says art night and it is super comfy and I use it as a night shirt. They so. are the 50-50 ones. They are pretty soft. So there are free t-shirts involved as well next year. So. <laughs> awesome. Sounds good. I will get that added. And I will put that on the agenda. Um, maybe... Do, do you know, Leah, uh, approximately like what, what, what the date is going to be for that? Or has that been decided um, yet? It will, be, it will be sometime in June. Okay. So. Okay. So I've got and that. And it'll be, it'll be a weeknight in June. So that, if that helps. So. 
Um, did anyone else have anything that they want to bring up as far as agenda items goes? Um, I was going to say, so I know I've been harping on it for probably the past year, um, but the uh, the uh, public art master plan uh, that I've wanted to do for a while now, that is still being talked about. Um, basically, you know, we didn't get funding for it last year. Uh, I did apply for a national endowment for the arts grant. Um, for for planning purposes uh, for that, but we'll hear back. I believe it's end of March, beginning of April is when the feds will probably reach out to folks to let us know whether or not we got that. That does require a one-to-one -one match though, um, and it's $50,000. So I'd have to get the um, city commission to sign off on it if we did receive it. So. Um, I'll keep you apprised of what I hear back for that. Um, in the meantime, I was directed uh, by the um, plan planning director and the assistant uh, city administrator to start maybe doing an RFP, uh, writing or drafting an RFP for a soliciting a firm uh, to do that public art planning. Um, I was wondering sort of what your thoughts were as a committee, you know, if anyone on the committee has had past experiences writing an RFP and would like to be a part of that process, or if he would like me to sort of draft it and then bring it before this committee for review and approval. Um, it just kind of, I'm, I'm fine with whatever, it just kind of depends on whether or not you folks want to have more of a hands-on or hands-off approach to it. Um, is that something that you need a decision for right now? I can't speak on everyone else's experience. I don't, I haven't experienced writing other things, um, but that was at a collegiate level, not real world. <laughs> this is what this is. So um, Jess, Mats and Fluto might have some experience doing that. I'm personally fine if you want to draft it and then we can go through it. But if that's something that we can save and wait till the next meeting to talk about too, I'm also okay with that. Yep, I'll do that. And I, I just kind of brought it up tonight as just a point of discussion, just to let you know that it was still be, it's still being talked about. It hasn't been completely- Keep it like, in the dialogue, Malachi. Yeah. <laughs> Um, because then the city also does have, uh, so you, I don't know if you've got, had the chance to drive down Cheyenne street recently, um, since it got redesigned last year after it got torn up and everything, but if you actually go walk around Cheyenne street there, there's actually, um, places within the concrete there within the sidewalk for like statues or sculptures. Um, and some of it has, I believe there's like electrical hooked up too. So that we potentially could have like lights shining on some sort of like sculpture walk thing or you know something similar to how Phillips Avenue in downtown um, Sioux Falls if you've ever been to Sioux Falls has statues and things like that um, I was talking to the city administrator the other day and she's like yeah yeah you know we can't wait until there's statues on there and I was like well I don't know if we should do statues now or wait until we do you know the public art master planning first before that happens um, but I just wanted to let you know that, you know, there's still people at the city who are all like, yeah, that's going to be super cool when it gets done. So still keeping it in the dialogue, in the discussion. Um, I was also going to bring up tonight um, whether or not this time period, this same time would work for everyone. But since there's only three of you here, I don't really feel comfortable, you know, taking uh, may, that might be something I can just follow up on in, in an email to all of you. I was just wondering, does this time period, like 5.30 to 6.30 work for everybody? Does the third Wednesday of the month usually work for everybody? I didn't really know. Yeah, Shake. okay. I'll, I'll follow up in an email and maybe do a do doodle poll um, just to confirm that the times work with everyone, especially since we'll be probably having a new person joining us as well. Well, with that, that's all I had for tonight. Um, I will save the actionable items for next month when we hopefully have a fuller fuller committee. Um, basically, it's just the 
approval of the minutes from the last meeting minutes anyways. Um, I am planning, so last year, you know, we had more sporadic meetings um, just because we didn't really have a, any projects going on after Color Fest. I'm expecting this year will probably be pretty similar in the fact that we'll have meetings with actual items or updates and things like that of that nature um, up to June. And then after June, it's kind of up in the air unless one of you has a project that you would want to do or thoughts or ideas, or if somebody from the community has a project that or an application that they want to take through this committee. Cool. That's all I got. Sounds good. All right. Um, Malachi, before I guess before we go, Jess, Jess Matz and Pluto and I are working on a project um, on our own that we will want to bring in front of the committee at some point. The art bus. The trolley. Yeah. The dark, our, our <laughs> trolley. Yeah. Sorry. I thought of the trolley. <laughs> I, I, yes. I, I always think it's like a, is it an actual trolley? It's an actual trolley. That mm -hmm. is awesome. All right. I know yeah. it's pretty cool. That sounds amazing. So and I love the hope, it. Yeah. With you there too. Um, if you do do the art night, maybe our hope is to be up and running by the spring. So maybe that's something that we could work with the city and bring to that event also. That would be phenomenal. That sounds really, really cool. Very cool. I love it and I'm so excited. But uh, j just, just let me know when you want uh, that to be on the agenda um, and maybe shoot me sounds like good. a memo or some information or whatever and I can add it to yep. the packet and stuff. Sounds good. We're working on filing right now so as soon as we're done doing everything that we need to logistically then we will proceed forward sounds good all right well thanks everybody thank you malachi have a great rest of your month see you next month sounds good <laughs>